All right. The Oscars were, of course, last night. That means the award season in Hollywood is really wrapping up. The movies we have today are stellar feats of science, but how did filmmaking get started? Eric Burris is at the Orlando Science Center to learn the origins behind today's films. Hey there, welcome to the Orlando Science Center. I'm joined with Zach, and Zach, we're going to talk a little bit about the science that went into filmmaking years ago. Yeah, so a long time ago we wanted to start taking pictures and we want to start seeing how we see every day, right? Yeah. We see motion, we see movement. Um, and so what we started to do is we started playing back pictures really, really quickly and we noticed that we can create the illusion of movement. And that's because our eyes work a really cool way. Right, right. Basically they refresh at about 24 frames per second. Okay. So they can take a picture 24 times in just one second. Mm -hmm. They send that signal to your brain. Yeah. So if we show you something faster than that, it creates that, illu uh, that illusion of movement. Right. And this is called a zoetrope. So we developed this in partnership with the UCSS SFAD school, that's the school for visual arts and design. So they helped us with a lot of like the animation key mm -hmm. terms and terminology that we needed to know right. so we can like accurately develop this content with them. Yeah. So we can show you this zoetrope right here. If you spin it and you look through the slits in there, all of a sudden oh, you yeah. start to see an image of that horse running. Love right? that. So, if you can go faster and slower, it controls the amount of frames per second you right. see. And of course, as it slows down, looks like the horse is kind of just trying to exactly. make it. Exactly. You yeah. see still images, they're not blurring together into one fluid motion. So the key to this is you're almost controlling the refresh. So this is spinning, you're exactly. controlling the refresh rate because of these slits. Exactly. That's the only time your eye is able to see that image. And right. so since it's going fast enough, right. it's blurring together and you're not seeing any of the darkness, you're just seeing each image one by one by one. Because if you look at it just straight through, yeah. it just looks it's like just a, a blurring mess. A blurring mess. Because you're seeing each image individually Right. run past you. Right. But by running through the slit, oh, that's amazing. you see only that angle of wow. that image. So it all blurs together. So, and when you think about all the cartoons we all grew up with, it you know, it kind of evolved from this into film strips. And exactly. And so we really wanted to highlight like there are jobs out there that use this awesome piece of technology. Yeah. Um, even as archaic as it looks, it's still what we use today in animation. Any superhero movie that you're watching that's using that mm -hmm. kind of style, they're talking about keyframes, frames per second, yeah. movements in between. It's right. all involved. You know? I, I love that. Science into filmmaking. That's incredible. And and the month of March happens to be you know, a, a big superhero tie in here at exactly, the Exactly, yeah. yeah. And the Oscars, of course, are in this month as there's well. There's that, there's that, that yeah. Works. Love that. Very cool. Zach, thank you so much. For more information on this, um, you guys have all kinds of demonstrations here at the Orlando Science Center. Exactly, yeah. You just got to visit osc.org and you'll be able to find all of that information mm -hmm. on the website. Love it. Very good, Zach. Thank you. And thank you for joining us for the science of it.